Uh, text coming in already on 81333. Uh, let's uh, take a look at this one. Um, it's Dave at the allotment. Allotment Dave. It's Dave at the allotment. Hello there, Dave here. Uh, blisteringly hot. I'm going to be a typical Briton here and uh, whinge. It's too hot. <laughs> Why can't it rain? Please rain. I'm sick of uh, having to use the hose all the time. I'm, I feel sorry for uh, all these people who haven't got a, a tap because it would just be a right nightmare watering in this side. But that's another thing. It's like I say, it's, it's 14th of June, uh, 14th of July, so it's yeah expected I suppose heat but uh, it's too hot to do stuff that's for certain but weeds uh, weeds are still growing this weather and um, things need to be done so I haven't got time to sit about I love to in fact I might fill that paddling pool up and sit in that like because it's uh, really hot I about 30 degrees today. Woo! Heat, man. Anyway, I'll crap on if I can. Um, I'm going to have five minutes break while uh, I've got the hose on. I'm giving the apple tree a good watering because, like I say, it hasn't watered for um, three weeks now, properly. So everything's suffering, um, especially the trees. I never really water them, but. Um, while I'm here having a break, a couple of people asked us about me sprinkler, so I'll show it to you. It's a uh, one of my mates made it. Uh, he's a plumber. It's quite a simple uh, design, but it's really good because you've got the height to go above, like onions and what have you. Um, it's just a uh, a T piece swivel T-piece joint, whatever it's called, I don't know, but that's basically that there, and it's got two bits of pipe coming off, which has got, I don't know if you can see, there's holes all the way down it, one set of holes is going one way, one set of holes is going the other, which obviously makes it spin, and then the whole thing's attached to this pipe, which is welded onto another pipe which goes into the ground sorry the, the sirens I'll, I'll let you enjoy the sound of the sirens for a five seconds I'll tell you what as well you know that uh, scare, scare vandal I keep thinking of someone standing in my garden <laughs> There's a couple of the uh, couple of my neighbours as well. They've says bloody hell! I thought he was standing there the other day. Ha. Anyway, now um, back to this the sprinkler. Like I say, it's quite easy easy made. That attaches to the hose that goes in the ground, and it just spins away. I'll be putting it on later because well, I've been putting it on all week because uh, things need watering. Um, any day. It's too hot, isn't it, girl? I tell you what, I'm gonna fill that paddling pool. Eh? We'll have a sit in there. Right. Back, back to the grindstone. Oh, it's too hot outside, so I've come inside for a little bit of a cup of cup of coffee. That's where the kettle's boiling there. Um, I've been having a little bit of a tidy up in the shed because um, I've had some good news well eventually getting a skip from the council it's coming um, tomorrow at some stage so 
even if it is full by the time I get there this time, my, my rubbish is going. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of waiting now. Uh, so that's good news. Another thing as well, uh, uh, we found out about going the um, association route of the council as well. We've been waiting for a few months to find out what actual ground rent's going to be. Um, so one of the lads had a meeting the other day with the council allotment bloke and um, he found out that this, like in this patch of uh, allotments here, there's 30, 30 plots all together and the council were making 3,500 just off us alone. Now the, uh, the allotment manager says that if we went to the association way, they would want, um, what was it? 1,300 for ground rent, 200 pound for the water rates, plus two, two pound each off everybody for some sort of uh, insurance type thing. I don't know, I don't understand that bit, but I understand that it's gonna half the, the garden. So like I say, I'm paying 150 pound now, so it's going to be much cheaper. There's only a couple of things though. 90% um, of the people have to agree to it. Now I spoke to three people. And that's 10% of 30. Or around about 10% of 30. Three people don't want to do it. For some reason they say that they can't be bothered to uh, do anything. Like paperwork and that. They've, they've retired and all of this. But they, they don't have to. I'll do it all if it, it take if that's what it takes. Oh, it's pretty hot that tea, air uh, coffee. Um, I like I say it's it's good news. There's a lot of people now going the association way because the councils are just try, trying to rip everybody's eyeballs out, um, just so they could probably you know pay for the Christmas lunches and all of that and bonuses. Anyway, that's another thing. Um, so hopefully that's going to be the future of the allotments um, will not be council run we'll run ourselves and I thought what a nice idea it would be to call it uh, the John Charlton uh, Memorial Gardens after John the guy who died he was uh, he was had been here since 1972 so I think it would be a nice uh, little thing to do Ho hopefully it'll come off you never know Right, that's me ramble on. See you in a bit. Well, it's to our time. It's cooled down a bit, but it's still blazing hot. Um, me raspberries are starting to uh, come on. Which is good. Uh, he has another skip find. Hose, an expensive hose as well. It's about 30, 30 meters of it. Not a hole in it either. Some people are crazy. Uh, well, this is the final time you'll see all of this rubbish here because it's going, going the journey tomorrow. I'm glad about that, I'll be able to get this little bit tidied out again. Uh, I've just come back up on my bike. I took Annie home before because uh, it was too hot for her. And uh, plus I'm looking after Annie's mum and dad while uh, my mate's away on holiday. So I've had them, them to look after as well as uh, Annie. It's been a handful. Uh, look at these roses now. I can't remember the name of them, but they're the same as the one on uh, Kay's allotment, if anybody watches them ones. But there's loads coming on, <coughs> which is good. Also, everything's good. I've had a little tidy round uh, the wildlife bit, because it was just getting overrun. There's th them orange flower things come on later on, and they were getting drowned out. Um, I've, well, I've emptied my uh, 
paddling pool. I didn't bother filling it up like because I knew Annie wouldn't go in it in any way. There's Spencer over there. The water in his garden. As you can see, it's too shiny. The sun's too shiny. Uh, <coughs> strawberries. No, I've been having loads of these. Absolutely loads of them. Quite good size as well. So the straw definitely works to keep off slugs like and the net keeps the birds off. It's the most strawberries I've ever had in one go. I'm gonna have this one now. Oh a really juicy like <sighs> nice. <coughs> hey, my cabbages I've just been watering everything with the sprinkler there. I've had the sprinkler on for about uh, an hour and a half now and I gave the apple tree an hour's worth of watering also the grapevine so I don't know I can't I, I don't know how people can do it if they haven't got a tap but the cabbages they went okay there the broad beans everything's flying up the, since last week like they're, they're at the top of the, the uh, poles now and these uh, dwarf, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Blue Lake climbing beans are doing okay as well. Same for Balotti beans, they're touching the top of the pole now. Good stuff. The beetroot, I've been getting quite a few off that. And I've, I've had some lovely uh, radish. Um, nice. Now there's that pak choy and uh, cho choy sum has started coming up since last week and that moony radish that's flew up that that's huge well not huge but the, ce the ceilings are, are flying away it shows you well in fact last year at this time because I was watching one of my old um, allotment update videos and this time last year we had so much rain and this year we haven't got so much rain so a lot of things have suffered but like I say looking back everything's caught up the cabbages are now the same the beans everything uh, the onions are, are around about the same the only thing that's not is the sweet corn but I don't know if you can see it now but it's about two and a half foot tall so it's getting there nice and green it looks healthy enough like um, I see I've had plenty of these uh, broad beans off now. Still getting loads on as well. Absolutely covered. It's been a good year for them. And my apples, we well, can hardly see now for the leaves, but see if I can see one. So much leaves, it's unbelievable. They're getting bigger. Still be a while for them yet, but they're getting bigger. I've had a weed round my onions as well. That's that's the most important job to do at this time of year. I don't think you can see me shadow there. Do some popping. Break down. But yeah, <laughs> enough of that. Um, my onions are digging hard. I've had my first row of taties up. I'll show you a picture. I took a picture of them so you can see what I've got. I'll, I'll put that up on the video later on. Yeah, really nice as well. Rocket. Um, my carrots. So I've had a couple of these. I've had a few around, and it looks like this one's ready. So. Here's an exclusive a carrot reveal. If I can get it out. Oh, it's a deep. Oh, I'm gonna have to get something to dig that out. It's uh, really, really deep. Come on. Come out. Yeah. 
see. Yeah, sorry. It's obviously it's obviously a white carrot. Like this. It's about the same size as my hand, a little bit bigger. Not bad, not bad. These other ones as well, uh, the autumn forced ones. There's B. There's one here that's ready. I'll put it up. Oh shit, it snapped. They're, they're not bad, you know. That's all right, that big. I'll have that for me dinner tomorrow. Me leeks are thickening right up now. This one that they got stood on or something seems to be getting the biggest. Strange. Taties, these are uh, main crops. So I oh, what's that? There's one on the top there. Haha. <laughs> Patchy. I hope they're a bit bigger than that, like. Just keep it in there. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting loads of, uh, I'm, well, I'm going to have loads of blackberries this year. Absolutely hundreds of them. The, uh, oh, there's a tearberry. It's not quite ready yet, like, needs to go, like, the same colour as a blackberry. But you hardly ever see them that colour, because the birds get them before you do. There's too much yet, well, there's, there's enough for the birds and me, to tell you the truth. But uh, this one, yeah, looks nearly ready. Whoop. That's them there. Let's see if it's right. Oh. Hey, it's lovely, that. really nice. I think I'll get a few of them before I leave as well. It's quite a few. Uh, in the greenhouse. These uh, cucumbers are loving it and this it's just starting to get flowers on there now. But it's uh, it's getting huge both of them are. This one especially Get them trained up that quick cane, but like I say, they've just started getting flowers on now. Um, these pineapples have shot up. I'll be putting them in that beds, uh, the hot bed soon. These tomatoes. I wish I would start uh, ripening me. There's quite a few on there. There's quite a few on here. I thought they would have got bigger than that and started like actually tumbling down the from the hanging basket, but obviously not. There's me Scotch bonnet. Getting flowers on now, which I'm pleased about. And that's me bell pepper, which is also getting flowers on. And it's about well that's two foot tall I would say. I've started feeding me chrysanthemums with the uh, chrysanthemum fertiliser now because I've started getting the terminal buds on. See that's that's the called the terminal bud. These are the breakers. So I'll concentrate on the that's got three coming off there. So I'll, I'll get three nice flowers off here. Whereas this one, I'll concentrate on the one and get just one huge big flower. Same with them two. And these are just next year's stock. So Simon, you'll be getting a cutting from them. I haven't forgot about you. Same with the, uh, the people who want some uh, comfrey. I haven't forgot. Um, there's still plenty of time. Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. This sort of choke. It's starting to pick up now. Crop. They're getting huge. The, the leaves are about like three foot tall. 
There's another, I've just spied another air table. I'll, I'll save that one for later. These are uh, red roosters hitting these tires. I've had a feel around, I can't feel very many things. Uh, take these legs, so I don't know if I've, I haven't earthed them up uh, deep enough or what. And I'm getting strawberries now on here. They are ripe, they look, they look green. They look green with the, the, uh, the sun, but they are ripe, like. tasty but they're not as tasty as them ones up there like so I don't know if I'll bother with the growing strawberries in here because some of them haven't even developed so I'll just stick there oh my garlic ha there it is I pulled it up it's not very big like but it's big enough considering it's only been in since March um, I'm gonna put them in much earlier this well in probably in the autumn this year uh, oh look at all me, me poppies, look nice, loads of different sorts like, red ones, white ones, purple ones, ones with like jagged leaves, but you've got to get these seed heads off otherwise you'll just be overrun with them next year, unless you want to be overrun with them. But I, I don't like it. so off. Chuck them on there. You're probably wondering why I've kept this pile pile of grass and weeds here. Well, there's a reason. Underneath, I put some potatoes because last year I did that. Well, I didn't mean I didn't even know there was any taties in amongst the rub uh, the weeds, but taties actually grew in in amongst all that. Saying that though, like I say, last year was uh, raining all the time. It hasn't been very, very uh, rainy this this year, which is good. Not complaining. Oh, he has another skip vine. Excellent little brush there. Canny, I've uh, cleaned me path with it today. Um, I've also I've been busy in the shed. Put myself a new carpet down. Nice, eh? I used to help me make carpet fit, so I know what I'm doing. Like, eh? Uh, yeah, That's straightforward, really. Sharp knife, straight edge. That's all you need. Here's some of my uh, harvest for the day. Radishes. There's one of my taties I've left because it has a, uh, it's got a worm in it. But that's that's the rockets. Not bad. That's that's about a medium-sized one. There's a couple of bigger ones than that as well. But my broad beans, I'm I'm getting about that many every day now, and they're still coming on thick and fast. Uh, I'll quickly go into the greenhouse. I think I'm. Running out of memory here. By the scare vandal. I keep coming in. And sometimes I even come out the greenhouse and think, Whoa, I jump, you know what I mean? Whoa. <laughs> so he do, he's doing his job. He's starting to bleed. He's bleeding. Where's that? Stand there all day and play with that. Oh, I've noticed as well where I was sitting before. I've got a bee's nest. I have got a bee's nest. It's down there. It's underneath this. Uh... Oh, there's a bee coming up. It's down there. I've seen them going in all afternoon. So I better not disturb them. Well, I don't want to disturb them. As long as they don't disturb me. 
Uh, it's happening in the greenhouse. Well, these tomatoes are coming on thick and fast, the money makers. These bush tomatoes are going mental now. I'm starting to get loads of tomatoes on, like, all over. Oh, it smells lovely, you know, the smell, like. And these cherry ones as well are starting to form now. I don't know what's happening with these uh, marigolds. Well, it's about three foot tall now, and it hasn't even started getting any flowers on. So I don't know what's happened there. But to tell you the truth, well, it hasn't even there hasn't been much bother with the uh, black fly and that this year for some reason. My grapes are eventually starting to thicken up. I've had to trim some of the branches off because it was starting to grow too well so I'll just concentrate on these bunches now I can see they're getting there now though but they need much more watering than what's been happening like I say I had the hose outside just uh, watering the the roots of this because no water and they'll just start end up end up dying off um, this potato and all this is going mental. That's a little experiment to see what happens there. Oh, hey, it's still warm, like. Oh, I'm gonna do. It's one good thing about having water. It's just stick your hat in, and then stick it on when it's uh, nice and cold. Oh, that's better. Right, that's it for the day. Um, I'll go and uh, edit this video, have me have me tea, uh, me dinner, have a bath and that, uh, cool down, a couple of beers, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. In fact, I might make a video of um, Annie's mum and dad. See what you think of them. But that that's that'll come in in another time. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch you all later, peace out man, bye. Now just before I go, I forgot, I forgot to uh, show you me, me new addition to the hopefully scare the vandals away. Um, someone give us the, this, it's one of them uh, scare device things for women. Um, I'm going to rig it up so it, uh, you know, it doesn't look like that. I'll put a box on it or something which says pull this, you know, because the wheel will just pull that out and uh, it makes a hell of a noise, like, so that should scare them off. Um, I'll give you a demonstration. I would, if it, it's loud, so cover your ears. Uh, I think that should scare them off. Either that or it's gonna wake them up over there. So, and, and one of the blokes that uh, has got an allotment down there lives over there. So he says if he hears it, he'll come straight over. So hopefully that'll work. <laughs> right, I'm off. See you later.